Some patients with IBD may need help getting adequate nutrients. Weight loss, surgery, obstruction, or severe inflammation may make it difficult for IBD patients to absorb calories and nutrients from food and supplements. In these cases, nutritional support therapy may be used to help patients avoid malnutrition. There are two types of nutritional support therapy, enteral and parenteral. Enteral nutrition is when a nutrient-rich formula is taken orally or given through a feeding tube. The tube may be placed through the nostril or via a surgical incision going directly into the stomach or small intestine. There are different ways to approach enteral nutrition. Partial enteral nutrition means you receive some of your calories through formula and the remainder from solid food. Exclusive enteral nutrition means you receive all calories through formula. This is proven to induce remission in pediatric Crohn's disease. Enteral nutrition isn't right for everyone. Say your gut isn't working and you're having a severe flare or you've had complications like a bowel perforation or a fistula and you need to improve your nutrition before surgery. In these instances, parenteral nutrition might be a better option. Parenteral nutrition is when nutrition can be delivered intravenously, allowing for nutrients to go directly into the bloodstream. It can supplement enteral nutrition or can be the sole source of nutrients. When it is the sole source, you may hear it called TPN, or total parenteral nutrition. Make sure you discuss adding any nutritional support to your diet with your provider and registered dietitian first. All forms of nutrition support therapy should be managed and closely followed by your healthcare team.